All right, ninjas. So next we're gonna work into our foam roller. This is a great foam roller. I love it. I love the, the hollowed center ones with these really nice strong plastic versus even the foam stuff. And I like the acupressure points on it as well. Um, I don't like the big giant knobby ones. I feel like they're almost too much. This is just about perfect for me. And it's got a couple different types of uh, acupressure points on it as well, which are pretty cool. Um, and this one is a really good width as well. It's not like super crazy long, like you can't fit it in your bag. It's just about the perfect size for like tournaments or taking it to the school with you. I just shove it in my bag and I have it with me at all times, which is great. Um, when I'm working with a foam roller, I like to start with my feet first. So you can easily just take your foot and just roll it back and forth. Um, if you train a lot, you probably, like me, um, get turf toe, which is terribly uncomfortable. And you can even work both feet up on top of it. And this is good for just kind of working your balance. I'm not using my hands or anything. I'm just kind of rolling forward and back. And it feels great on my knees, my feet. Um, and it works like some good core right here too. So just kind of working that balance. If you get the feet nice and loosened up. If you can't do that, you can just kind of roll it out. And it feels really good to get the feet loosen up. So basically just starting with the feet, and then I'm gonna go down to the mats here, and I'm gonna work it right into my calf muscle now. I do foam rolling every day, so for me, just doing this isn't gonna be enough. I like to kind of put all my weight into it, but then I can take the other leg and actually put my foot on top of my calf just like that to kind of push down, and I roll my body out. And that feels really good, and you get like a little bit of, some kind of core in here too, it feels nice. And then when you want to switch, other calf goes down, foot goes on top. You can start by just working it off the floor, but you can also lift the body up here and really push down into it. Now the key with the foam roller is to kind of move it around and kind of play around with it and find like that little knot, that little spot where you can really feel it, like right there I got something. And then once I kind of locate that spot, I want to spend some time in there, just kind of little by little breaking up the knot. And now from here I'm gonna go up to the thigh, and the same thing, I'm just rolling back and forth. I can put the other leg on top, for a little extra assistance in there. Same thing with the other side as well. I'm just working on the hamstring now, rolling it, finding those knots. And then I'm gonna work up now, up into the buttocks. And the same thing, just rolling it here. A great stretch you can work in here if you get any um, sciatic or anything like that going on is crossing that leg over. And you can put a little bit more weight on it. And you can even kind of float it up here without break, putting the foot on the floor. And it really gets down in there. Oh, there's a good one right there. And then once you find that knot, it's just trying to break it up. And just like the other stretches we did, we want to spend, you know, 30, 60, 90 seconds per body part. Kind of push down into it and really get that working. I don't like to roll on my lower back. It just doesn't feel like it's that safe for me. So I like to work from basically the shoulders down into the middle of the back. And I just kind of roll back and forth, looking for those knots, crossing the arms over. It feels really nice to get into that scapula where you get kind of stacked up on in jujitsu a lot. It's always kind of hurting in there. And you can kind of break up some of those knots. And I can do the same thing on the other side, just getting into that scapula and really trying to break up um, some of those knots. And it feels great. Now if I flip it over, I can hit the quads right here as well. And we'll do the same thing again, we're just kind of rolling right up and down the legs, finding those spots and then really just kind of taking their time and working into those muscles. This feels great right now. Legs are really sore from jujitsu all week. Um, feels awesome. And this is a great way to start your workout. You can also take it from right here. And we can just kind of pull our whole body right into a nice little top. Feels really nice too. And that way you can kind of roll through the whole body. Just kind of give it a nice little tuck. And I like to get down in here. Get that hip flexor as well. Feels nice right there. Oh yeah. I work it sore a lot. Working guard. And then the same thing on the other side. Just working into that, that hip flexor feels 
really nice. We can get onto our sides here. And the same thing, just rolling. Finding those spots, those little trigger points, getting into it, yep, right there. Oh, that's a good one right there. And then just working my way into it, and then same thing. Again, on the other side, just rolling into those knots. And if you do jujitsu and you're over 40, you definitely are feeling the knots, right? So it's really, oh yeah, it feels good to work some of those out. So that, my friends, is the foam roller. This one's an awesome one. Um, I got this one through Epitome Fitness. It's really actually about the best deal that I've seen on the internet. It's a crazy cool deal. Check it out. It's an awesome deal from Epitome Fitness. Um, check out my videos, share them with your friends. Come like us, check us out on Instagram, check us out on Facebook, like our pages, share it with your friends. Happy training, guys.